2014, the SEC sample paper two, question five. Another question concerning uh, trig, and trig functions. So here the diagram below shows the graph of the function sine two x. So here, there's no number before, so that's why the range goes between one and minus one. Remember, this is all to do with your trig circle. Your zero, your 90, 180, 270, 360. So in your normal sine function, going between, say, there's one, zero, zero, one, minus one, zero, zero, minus one. First of these terms links the cause, the second links the sine. Question name, surname. And down here, question name, surname. So if we're looking at a sine function, this is just rough. Say there's zero degrees, 90, 180, 270. 60 for a normal sine function and minus 1. When sine is 0 degrees, we have 0. Sine is 90 degrees, you have 1. Sine of 180, 0. Sine of 270, minus 1. Sine 360, back up to 0. So this is where we get that smooth curve for our sine function. Now in a sine 2x function, well firstly back to the sine x function, we can see the time it takes to repeat itself is 360 degrees. That means its period is 360 degrees. If we go 2x, it goes twice as quick, twice as quick running around this circle, twice as quick completing that lap. So then the period there is going to be 180. And if we look at this picture here, the time it takes there is 180. Um, so pi seems 180 degrees. That's halfway between, that must be 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, must be 45, 90. Between it, 135. I like things in degrees. Uh, 225, 270. And there's your 360, and halfway between that, 315. Just to get, keep the head right. The line 2y is equal to 1 is shown. Now, as you can see there, it's going through a half. It's going through what axis? It's going through the y-axis at a half. So how they got that there? 2y is equal to 1. y is obviously equal to a half. So 0, well, just a half. Every value along there will be something a half. 0 a half. And up there will be 90 a half. And 3, 5 a half. Whatever. On the same diagram below, sketch the graphs of sine of x and 3 sine 2 of x. Now to me, this is actually the easier place to start. Up here, we have sine 2x. So 3 sine 2x, and the number's in front of it, that affects the range. So it's three times the height of it. So, I was sketching that. All I do is take these peaks three times as high up. So this is going to go down three times as much. This is going to go up. Your range isn't affected. The number before it. Or your period is not affected, the range is. And then you just join that up. A nice smooth curve as best as you can. And keep that label there. So that's h of x. 3 side 2x. That's that one. Well, the other one's a wee bit more awkward. Sine of x. Sine of x is the original function which we have up here. You can just uh, put it into your calculator, you could do the mode 3 in your calculator. Here I'm drawing sine of x, sine alpha in the right bracket, and you could do it on that for the other one. We're starting at 0, and at 360, and we're going in steps, say we went in steps of 45. And what you see here, 0, 0. 45 0 0.71, say there, and 90 degrees is 1. If you keep scrolling on down, 135, 180 is 0. 270 is minus 1. And then 360 is 0. And then if you join them up in a nice smooth curve once again. Now it's very cluttered looking, but you're unsure, do it in pencil for yourself. That will go up again. So that blue line there is your sine of x. 
Another way you've cut it on that, simply just use your tables, sine of zero is zero, so all links to your unit circle as we did up the top, sine of 90 is one, sine 180 is zero, sine of 270 is minus one, 270 minus one, and sine of 360, which is back to zero, is zero. And you get your nice smooth curve. As you see, it's going twice as slow. Same height, because there's no number before it, but your period hasn't been shortened. And so it's the original sine function. Now B, find the coordinates of the point P in the diagram. So point P is here. So here they're asking you, where is that black graph equal to the point P? Now that black graph, that original graph there was sine 2 of x. So they're asking you, where is sine 2 of x equal to? Now that point P there is a half. So where is sine 2 of x equal to half? Because up in the top where this says f of x is equal to sine 2 of x. Another way of saying f of x or g of x or h of x is y. And then where is that y coordinate equal to half? So sine 2 of x equal to a half. Now from this, you have an approximate idea that's somewhere between 225 and 270 degrees on the x-axis. Now here we can solve these uh, trig equations. Using our unit circle. So the first thing you do, get your reference angle. So again, draw your unit circle. 0, 190, 90, 180, 270, 360, and cast. And this S region is 180 minus A, tan 180 plus A. Obviously plus A is a bigger 180, obviously minus the angle because it's S the 180, and this is 360 minus A. So the two diagonals are minus. Got to get your reference angle. Um, in order to get the angle and to get rid of the sine, the opposite of sine is sine inverse. So shift sine and put in your half and you get 30 degrees. So 2x equal to 30 degrees. Now, there's two places this boy is happy. It's in your S region and also in your all region. If that was sine 2x equal to minus a half, we would use these two things here, 180 plus A, 360 minus A. So if it's happy, it's in its region and in the all region. So 2x equal to 30 degrees, and 2x is also equal to 180 minus A, 150 degrees. Now that'll only give us one of the solutions. As we need all the solutions, we've got to add in the period of a sine function, which is 360 A. Solve for x, so divide by 2. 15 plus 180m, and as we said, it takes 180 degrees for a 2x function to repeat itself. So do not divide too early. And here, x equals 75 plus 180m. Now we just got to keep lobbing in numbers uh, for n until we get something between 225 and 270 degrees. So when n is equal to 0, x is equal to 15 plus 180 times 0 is 0. And x equal to 75. No good to us. Back here. When n is equal to 1. x is equal to 15 plus 180, which is 195. And x is equal to 75 plus 180, which is 255. Now that actually looks good. The 255. I'll check again. I'll say when n is equal to 2, just to be sure. x equal to 15 plus 360 which is 375 and x is equal to 75 plus 360 435 now you can see there it's far too much it's above your 360 here 375 is over there 435 is over there so this is our answer here find the coordinates now coordinates made up of an x and a y so an x is 255 the value of y is a half